So I hunted 15 hours in the Jolly Village. Some of the things I found in this video are very rare, so you're gonna want to stay tuned to see them. Oh my god! So guys, the Jolly Village is extremely fun. I always have lots of fun hunting in these events, and this one is definitely no different. Originally, I was only going to hunt for 10 hours in the Jolly Village, but after I did the 10 hours, I felt like I was not completely satisfied, so I did an extra 5 hours to see what I can get. There's not really much in specific I'd really like to get. Maybe like an Alpha or Gamma Red Pattern Icicle might be really cool. Maybe some other stuff like a Gamma Missile Bud or like an Alpha Glass Score might be pretty fire as well. So if you guys are excited for this hunt, then make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get right into it. Starting off, we see an Alpha Kratol. Alright. We can't rally these, so they're better than the Kabungas, in my opinion. And then we see an Ikazune. And I'm already starting off annoyed, because I just found Alpha Snell. This could have been Gamma. And then our first Nutcracker Metronet. And here's the Alpha Kabunga. Probably the worst rare thing you could find here. And there's another Metronet. But then we see another Alpha Kabunga. And then another Alpha Kabunga. But here's their first pattern icicle, the green icicle. Pretty cool. And then a Metronet. And then we see a Gamma Kratol. That's not bad. And there is a Pyramind, followed by another Metronet. And then a Gamma Kabunga. I have lots of Gamma Kabunga since I've hunted in these events in previous years. I guess I'll take it. And then there's a Celesting, followed by another Metronet. And there's a Wobblisk, followed by a Pyramind. And then a Corrupt Kratol. Ooh, an Alpha Score. This is my first one. That's pretty cool. All right, I don't know if you're going to believe me, but literally back to back after this Alpha Score was an Alpha Pyramind. Like, what are the odds of that. It's one of the craziest back-to-backs I've ever seen. But then after that, we see a Protagon, followed by a Corrupt Kabunga. And there's a Duskit. And then there is a Corrupt Kabunga. And then an Akalos. And there's a Celesting. Back-to-back -back with a Celesting with a Metronet. But I accidentally killed this one. My bad. And there is a Purple Pattern Icicle. Alright. Followed by a Gamma Kratol. Not bad. And then a Metronet. Alright, this kind of stings. I just found a Corrupted Wobbleist. God dang, bro. And there is a Mudagon. Followed by a Pyramind. And then a Metronet. And there's a Celesting. There's the Gamma Kabunga. Alright. And there is an Akalos, followed by a Duskit. And there's a Metronet. And there is another Purple Pattern Icicle, followed by Akalos, then a Wobblisk, and then another Wobblisk, and then Metronet. And then there is Alpha Kabunga. And our first Elephase. Ooh, a Glass Score. That's kind of cool. There is an Akalos, and then a Mudagon. And there is an Alpha Kabunga. Pretty cool. Just kidding. It's not. I don't know why I said that. And there is Metronet, followed by Pyramind, and then another Pyramind. But then another Alpha score, followed by a glass score, all right. Then a corrupted cryo cup, bro. What in the world? But at least we get another glass score after this, followed by a metronet. And then there is a green pattern icicle, followed by protagon, and then celesting, and then an alpha kabunga, followed by a corrupt kabunga, and then another alpha kabunga, which is all the kabungas right now. But then we see a duskit, followed by a wobblisk. But then we see a gamma kratol, and then a cephalops, and then another cephalops, and then a mudagon, but then a nutcracker. Metronet, followed by Gamma Kabunga. All right, another Metronet, and then Nakalos, and then a Wobblisk, and then another Metronet, and then another Wobblisk, but then a Gamma Kratol, followed by Elphase, followed by Mudagon. Back to back with that Mudagon? What's Celesting? All right, but then a Corrupted Scorb, are you serious? But then there's the Metronet, followed by Gamma Kabunga, and then a Cephalops, and then another Alpha Scorb. I'll take them any day, and then another Alpha Kabunga, followed by Mudagon, and then a Pyramind, then a Metronet and another Nutcracker Metronet. What the hell? Followed by that insane encounter was an Akalos, and then a Celesting, and then another Alpha Scorb, all right. And then an Alpha Cryo Cub. It's kind of rare, but you can just rally, so I'd prefer if it was Gamma. And then an Alpha Kratol, and there is a Wobblisk, followed by a Yellow Patterned Icicle. Back to back with a Metronet, that's kind of cool. And then there is an Alpha Kratol, followed by a Green Patterned Icicle. And then a Cephalops, and then another Cephalops, and then a Nutcracker Metronet. Okay, an Alpha Vari, all right. I see how it is. And then Alpha Kratol, followed by a Mudagon, and then an Alpha Kabunga, and then a Metronet, followed by an Alpha Scorb, all right. And then a Corrupt Kratol. You know, I haven't really been seeing too many Corrupts lately, so, you know, I'll take it. No, never mind. We just got two Corrupts in a row, right after I say that. Like, come on, man. And then a Duskit, and then Corrupt Kratol again, <laughs> okay. And then a Metronet, followed by Purple Pattern Icicle. Passing the 10 hour mark is the Mudagon, followed by Duskit. And then Akalos, and then a Gamma Kratol, followed by Corrupt Kratol. Ooh, a Gamma Missile Bud. That's not bad at all. That's pretty rare. And then a Roaming Nutcracker Metronet, followed by a Red Pattern Icicle. It's my first one, and red is my favorite color, so I'm kind of down with this one. Followed by a Metronet, and then a Corrupt Kratol, and then a Celesting. But this one was.
a secret ability. All right, that's kind of cool. So I just started to check secret ability roams recently. It's one of the first ones I've seen in the wild. So I will take this any day. Oh, oh, uh, wow. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, my bad. All right, right after that unfortunate instance is a Metronet, followed by an Alpha Missile Bud, and then a Corrupt Kratal, and then Ikazune, and then Corrupt Kratal, and then Alpha Kabanga, and then a Duskit, and then Akalos, then Kabanga, followed by Celesting. And no, it's not secret ability, I checked. And there is a Metronet, followed by Corrupt Kratal. Then there's an Ikazune, followed by Pyramine, followed by Cephalops. Only a couple hours left, and we have a Metronet here, and then Alpha Kleptite, and then a Gamma Kabanga. Manga. And then a Duskit, and then a Wobbleus, and then there is a Glass Score, followed by another Wobbleus, and then Akalos, and then Nikazune, but then an Alpha Kratos, okay. A Corrupted Score, wow, bro. Followed by a Celesting, back to back with that Celesting, with an Alpha Kleptite. All right, that's kind of weird. But then we get another Alpha Score, that's kind of cool. Followed by Pyramine, followed by a Protagon, back to back with that Protagon, with Akalos, and then Elephage, then Alpha Kabunga, but then a Corrupt Kabunga, followed by a Pyramine, and then a Celestine. Celesting, followed by Wobbleus, and another Celesting, followed by Nutcracker Metronet, and then a Corrupted Kratol, then Alpha Kabunga, but then a Gamma Kabunga, and then another Glass Score, followed by Ikazune, and then we get a Green Pattern Icicle. All right, this is also a weird back-to-back. -back. We also just got a Purple Pattern Icicle back-to-back -back with that Green Pattern Icicle. The back-to-backs are kind of insane right now, and then an Alpha Kratol, and then a Nutcracker Metronet, and the final encounter of the 15-hour hunt is a Nutcracker Metronet. All right. So yeah, guys, that was my 15-hour hunt in the Jolly Village. Probably my longest hunt yet. I got some pretty crazy things in this event, not going to lie. The rarest thing I found was, of course, this Gamma Protagon. Like, I didn't really expect this one. Like, it's not an event roamer. Like, it could have been Gamma Christmas Metronet or, like, a Gamma Celesting. But, you know, Gamma Protagon is one of the cooler story roamers out there, so I cannot really complain. I'm also pretty sure it's, like, the most expensive story roamer in value, I think, so I can't really complain. If you want to know the numbers of everything I found in this hunt, I found 33 alphas, 13 gammas, 94 roamers, 18 corrupts, 10 pyramids, 5 glass scorps, 10 patterned ice eagles, and 30 nutcracker metronets. If you're wondering why I found so many roamers, it's because there are three different roamer tables in this event, which means you get three times the roamers as usual. You have your normal story roamers, you have your Christmas roamers, and you have the Christmas reskinned roamers, aka the nutcracker metronet, which as you can see, I did end up finding 30 nutcracker metronets. Metronet. You know, that would have been a box full of Nutcracker Metronets, but I accidentally killed one in the hunt, so it's like I'm one short. But you know, I probably will be hunting a little bit off camera as well, so I probably will have a box full of Nutcracker Metronets after this event. And when it comes to the things that are over 10k odd, there's five of them. There's Alpha Vari, Alpha Pyramine, Corrupt Wobbleus, Secret Ability Celesting, and of course, Gamma Protagon. Also, I do want to shout out the Gamma Missile Bud I did end up finding. I did say I wanted this. It's not exactly one of 10k, it's one of 9 1,600. But you know, besides the Protagon, this is one of the coolest finds I did end up getting in these 15 hours. And let me know if I should evolve it as well, because right now I'm sort of undecided if I should evolve this Mythle Bud or not. I need your guys' help on that. But yeah, guys, I think the next update in Lumion Legacy might be Atlantean City Part 2. The co-owner of Lumion Legacy, T. Brown, just gave out a heartfelt message at the time of making this video, giving us some insight of what's been going on in development, and also what's going on with Atlantean Part 2 as well. And I feel like this is going to be one of the biggest updates in the whole game. So when that does end up coming out, I probably will start making more consistent Lumion Legacy videos like I used to do a while ago, before we got to the end of the year with the holiday season and such, when I kind of slowed down on it. So do not worry about that. I am super excited to get back into like the swing of things with Lumion Legacy. But yeah, guys, that's about it for this video, so I'm gonna end off here. So until next time, goodbye!